నేను అల్పన మీరు చూస్తున్నారు కేఏబి టెలివిజన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈ క్లాసెస్ ఇంటర్లో మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ సింగిల్ పేపర్గా ఉన్నప్పుడు కొన్ని చాప్టర్ రన్ మిస్ చేసినా పాస్ మార్కులు సాధించేందుకు ఇబ్బంది ఉండేది కాదు ఇప్పుడు రెండు పేపర్లుగా మారిన తర్వాత ప్రతి చాప్టర్ను కూలంకషంగా నేర్చుకోవలసి వస్తుంది అందుకే మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ పేపర్ల బోధనకు కేఏబి టెలివిజన్ నిష్ణాతులను ఎంపిక చేసింది మరి ఈనాటి మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ టూ బి క్లాస్లోకి ఎంటర్ అవుదామా సీనియర్ ఇంటర్ మ్యాథ్స్ టూ బిలోని కోఆర్డినేట్ జామెట్రీ చాప్టర్ పై క్లాస్ నిర్వహిస్తున్నాం ఈ చాప్టర్ కు సంబంధించి సర్కిల్ టాపిక్ లోని లాంగ్ ఆన్సర్ మరి ప్రాక్టీస్ క్వశ్చన్ గురించి నిన్నటి క్లాస్ లో తెలుసుకున్నాం మరి ఈనాటి ఎపిసోడ్ లో మరికొన్ని ప్రాక్టీస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ గురించి తెలుసుకుందాం ఈ క్లాస్ ను మ్యాథ్స్ బోధనలో ఇరవై ఐదేళ్ల అనుభవం కలిగిన టిఎస్ రవికుమార్ గారు వివరిస్తారు now let us uh, take one more important question this model please uh, see i'll write two circles you also write down x square plus y square minus 6x minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0 one circle and another circle is x square plus y square plus 2x minus 8y plus 13 is equal to 0 please now please look at these two circles uh, plus 2x minus 8y plus 13 minus 6x plus 2y plus 1. These are complicated equations. Even if you change one number also, you feel a lot of difficulty. What he is asking is, as it is, find the point of contact. Find the point of contact. Common tangent. Common tangent. Find the point of contact and common tangent. So, the procedure is same. For the first circle, center is i am writing 3 1 radius r1 is under root 9 plus 1 minus 1 3 okay is it okay generally in the examination the questions will be set so that you will have uh, perfect squares there won't be any problem rarely there will be irrationals otherwise all will be rationals only and if you take capital b the center of second circle it is minus 1 comma 4 minus 1 comma 4 and R2 is under root 1 plus 16 minus 13 because my C is minus 13. What do you get? You get 2. 2. Say as I told you, here also there is no root, here also there is no root. So you have 3 and 2. The distance between centers is AB is equal to, uh, it's under root 16 plus 9, 5. Now can you tell me how the circles are? position you can you just give me the idea you see r1 is 3 r2 is 2 this is first center this is second center ab is 5 r1 plus r2 you should check both difference and sum r1 plus r2 here in this case r1 plus r2 is 5 r1 plus r2 is 5 which shows that the circles are touching externally i i let me put the position carefully this is the position my a is here my B is here, R1 is, uh, my center is 3, 1. I don't uh, trouble you, B is minus 1, 4. And this is R1, 3, this is R2, 2. And first circle equation, second circle equation, minus 1, 4, everything is ready. Uh, now, please look at this. We have to find the point of contact. Ratio formula again. If the circles are touching internally, use external ratio if they are touching externally use internal ratio this is one shortcut way so let us uh, see the ratio formula is point of contact is point of contact is uh, let me write lx2 minus 3 plus mx1 6 by 3 plus 2 5 ly2 12 plus 2 by 5 this gives you 3 by 5 comma 14 by 5. This is the point of contact. This point of contact, if you call it as P, the P will be 3 by 5 and 14 by 5. Uh, again, the circles are touching externally. He is asking common tangent. Now, I will write the first circle equation once again. Point of contact you have seen and point of contact is 
very simple. And now the common tangent is this, okay. Let us find this common tangent. The common tangent is s minus s dash is equal to 0. Common tangent is s minus s dash is equal to 0. That means you subtract first circle. What is the first circle? x square plus y square minus 6x minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. Second circle is x square plus y square plus 2x minus 8y plus 13 is equal to 0. Is it not? So, if you take these two circles and subtract, you will get the common tangent. If you just subtract minus 8x and plus 6y minus 12 is equal to 0. One minus, simply if you leave the common factor and minus 2, if I divide by minus 2, 4x minus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0. This is the common tangent. 4x minus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0. Did you understand what we have done? The procedure is first location how they are touching whether they are touching externally or internally everything we have found and after once you find that the rest is same i will take a little bit more challenging question now a little bit more challenging question look at this i will take first circle is x square plus y square plus 22x minus 4y minus 100 is equal to 0 have use constants you should see Second circle is x square plus y square minus 22x plus 4 plus 100 is equal to 0. These are the two circles. My s is this, my s dash is this. What should we do? Here he is asking find the equations of common tangents. Here he is asking find the equations of common tangents. Now let us once again go ahead with this. Please see the procedure how I am doing and you will understand. For first circle, center is I denote it by a. You can also denote it by C1, there is no problem. Uh, you, if you want, you, A is minus 11, comma 2 and radius R1 is, you just uh, take the radius R1 is under root 121 plus 4 minus plus 100. What do you get? 225, that is 15. I already told you, there is no root. 15 you are getting. And capital B is, it's a capital B is, 11 comma minus 2 r2 is under root you just let us take 121 plus 4 minus 100 125 and 125 minus 100 is 5 this is the position the distance between centers is a b is equal to what do you get under root 11 plus 11 22 whole square uh, 2 plus 2 4 whole square I, I hope you understood it. 11 minus of minus 11, 22 whole square plus 4 whole square is 484 plus 16, 484 plus 16, uh, which is uh, 10, 10, 500, root 500. Root 500 is 55, 25 into 100, 100 into 5, no, 100 into 5 is 10 root 5. 10 root 5. You can see the distance between AB, 10 root 5 is r1 plus r2 if you see r1 plus r2 is 20 uh, here you have a look at the question carefully this is a 15 b is 5 a b is 10 root 5 if you take this as 2.3 also you can clearly see a b is greater than r1 plus r2 did you understand a b because a b is 10 into root 5 is 2.3 23 but r1 plus r2 is 20 only therefore a b is greater than r1 plus r2 as therefore circles do not intersect they are positioned in a different way circles are not intersecting each other circles are not intersecting so one circle is like this one circle is like this the circle first center is minus 11 to radius is 15 for second center is 11 minus 2 and radius is 5 the distance between them is a b is 10 root 50 10 root 5 sorry we have to find the equation of common tangents for that let us see what one center of similitude will find and do the common tangents uh, now s1 i am finding internal ratio s1 is equal to lx2 15 into 11 minus 5 into 11 by 20 see the calculations and 15 into minus 2 
plus 5 into 2 by 20. Now this will be S1 is equal to 15 into 11 minus 5 into 11 that is 110, 110 by 20, 11 by 2, this is 50, 11, 10, 110 by 20, the calculations may be 10 minus 30, 10 minus 30 is minus 20 by 20. So this is 11 by 2 comma minus 1, this is 11 by 2 comma minus 1, it is not minus here, 11 by 2 comma minus 1. How to find the common tangent? This is a, a little bit uh, difficult question, but uh, for your 7 marks it is a very important. Common tangent is passing through this point. So any line passing through 11 by 2 comma minus 1, any line passing through 11 by 2 comma minus 1 can be taken as any line passing through 11 by 2 comma minus 1 we can taken as y plus 1 is equal to m into x minus 11 by 2. I do not have the idea about m, what slope I do not know, no, I should see that, I should find it. y plus 1, if you simplify it, y plus 1 is equal to m into 2x minus 11 by 2. So, this is 2y plus 2 is equal to m into 2x minus 11. This is the equation of the tangent. I will make it a neat this thing. Please